Welcome to see us. First time on the show for oh. both of you, and we are honoured that you're here. Yeah. Kirby, I hear you're, you're a big fan of guys. A massive fan Is that fan right? When did you first discover the man, the myth, the legend? Well, okay, so... Um, Backstage just three Backstage minutes ago. No. no, I did. No, no, no. Me, my mum and I love Triple D as the insiders yes. call it. Triple D. So much so that my mum writes down on pen and paper the different places that you would go, and she would like, in case she ever went there, she would like write them down. I can hook mom up. Oh my god! <laughs> for real? Oh, for I'm real. Tell her. Okay. For <laughs> I'm like, real. for real? Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's, he's the man. I mean, guys, when you're trying a dish during your show, right. the chef of the dish that you're trying is so eager to get your feedback and know what you think that you inevitably end up giving your feedback back to them with a mouthful of food, <laughs> right? Do you not... Do you, does it ever worry you that you're just going to spit food <laughs> on them when you're, give, when you're critiquing their dish? The power of edit. Right. <laughs> so it does happen. No, you know what it is? We take... The first thing I learned when I got the Food Network is take a princess bite. Take a little bite. Mm. So you can, is, you, I can, you know, I got to taste the food and come up with something to say about it and keep the show rolling. Uh, so I take a little bit of a bite, but we do have times when they'll be so eager and I can just feel them breathing, just looking at me. And I'll look at my camera guy like this, like, is he, <laughs> is he waiting? And the guy's just sweating it out over there. And I'll just wait, I'll chew a little bit longer and it'll go on for a bit. And, but uh, no, it's it, usually, the, Spitting on them is not really part of the program. Wait, so is the first time you taste the food there and then? First time. Whoa! Yeah. That's... And if I don't like it, you won't see So people are like, I can tell when you really love it. I can tell when... No, there is a difference between liking something, loving something, and losing your mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if I don't like it, like if it's like, I'm not going to tell you to go there. I, we, you won't see the place. That's true. Whoa! Well, you won't, tell you mom won't... that. You I've got to tell my mom that. Hang on, so you won't ever say you won't. You know what I'd quite like to do. If I, one, you know what you should do one day. I can't take, wait, man. take a bite and just immediately collapse on the floor. <laughs> just, just go like, just go. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Oh, it's right. <laughs> and don't get up. Just, just prank someone and see what they do. Will I'd you say, do that I'd for me? Him, I say do it once in a while. Go like this. Do you really think? Putting the anchovies in this dish was a good idea. I learned this from a buddy of mine named Troy. He's one of my judges on uh, Troy Johnson. He's judges on Guys Grocery Games. I said, do you really think this was a good idea? And the chef will just like, oh, gosh. Oh, it's going to shut me down. I'm like, you're right. It was a dynamite idea. Ah, <laughs> as far as I take it. Yeah, that's like as far it. as I take it. Kirby, you refer to yourself as a fun shaman. Now, yeah. what does that mean? In what way are you a fun shaman? What does that entail? So I say it's like... So, OK, so I think that people think that fun is, is chaotic. It's not always chaotic. Sometimes it's organised. So okay. I'm like... A fun, I would like to think of myself as a fun shaman. So what I used to do on um, what was... Uh, before sort of like the pandemic and things like that, my favourite holiday, 420, um, I would organise like a full day of fun. So we would start in the morning and we would go to the dispensary, you grab your bits and bobs, and then you make the next stop, which is probably food. And then after that, maybe we go like to the Echo Park Lake, we do the pedal boat, then we get food again, obviously. Mm. Then we maybe go bowling, then we get food again. And then there'll be like some sort of afternoon activity, but it's like a full day. And then you can just jump in whenever you want. Like if you just want to come for a meal, come for a meal. If you want to come here, if you want to do Dave and Busters, do whatever you want. Dave and Busters. I love Dave and Busters. Do you? I love Dave and Busters. Dave and Busters, but during the day, on a, or like during daytime on a weekday, because it's two packs on the weekend, there's kids there and stuff. But you want to go <laughs> on... <laughs> mm. Will you, do you email us when this is going to happen? I yeah. mean, do we, yeah, for sure. Is there an invite list? Oh, my God, there, there is an invite list. Like I said, I, we haven't done it for a couple of years, but there is an invite list of only very chill people, obviously. Sure. You can't... you got to... It's chemistry. Because yeah, that's what that you, you want at Dave & Buster's, just someone completely chill. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the vibes at Dave & Buster's is very chill. Well, we'll go. Yeah, we're in for it, right, guys? You, we'll go. Oh, you we, you should see us, us in a pedal eat. boat. Yes. We own pedal boats. And then you can organise where we eat, obviously. Oh. You know what? We'll I bring eat. it. We'll just cook it. That's what we'll do. We'll cook? Yeah, we'll cook it. We'll be there all That's day. That's where we make some of the best things, is when you really... Yeah, when you, you're really when you have high. An extra, there you go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when you have the extra experience, we'll bring Mountain Dew, you know. <laughs> make tea. I mean, Guy, you are... You're so uh, multi-talented. There's so many different things you're doing. But uh, on top of everything else, you are a marriage officiant. 
including officiating a mass wedding of same-sex couples. How did this come about? How did you get into this? Well, first I'll tell you, it was one of the greatest things I've done in my career. As a person, uh, as a member of the community, and it, it happened in Miami during the South Beach Food and Wine Festival, and I was asked to do it. And they said, and it was kind of asked, like, would you do it? And I'm like, absolutely. They said, do you want to know the date? I said, it does not matter when. Mm -hmm. Just tell me when, because I believe that people should be able to do what people want to do. Mm. And as long as they're not hurting themselves or hurting anybody else, go live your life and be who I you want to be. I yeah, agree. you know? I agree with you. I'm not sure if you heard this or were told about this, but when Kristen Stewart was on, I think it was when she was on Howard Stern's show, uh, she was talking about getting married and she said that she would like you to officiate her wedding. Would you do that as the call come in? We have, we have been in contact about it. Really? I, oh. I, am, I met Kristen about 10 years ago on a show. She was super cool, super chill, and she threw that out. So I sent a message to her, and I think they, they played it for her on, on one of the morning shows, and we've talked a little about it. She's kind of busy, like a million things going on. <laughs> so I said, call me, let me know when you want to do it, and I'll come down, and it would be my honor to. Oh, that'll yeah, be I'll amazing. Stop. That'll be wonderful. That's cool. Now, Kirby, yes. we've got to talk and congratulate you on your huge show, The Sandman. It is the number one show on Netflix. For anyone who hasn't caught it yet, tell us what it's about and who you play. Uh, so, The Sandman is uh, an epic fantasy adventure. Um, the first season follows Dream, Morpheus, who is captured by an occultist, and we sort of follow him uh, as he tries to escape and gain his tools back. Um, it centers around uh, a family called The Endless. I am one of The Endless. I play Death, Death of The Endless. Um, we are... Thanks, Reggie. <laughs> we are uh, essentially, like, concepts that have taken human form. It's such a smash. I'm so happy for you that, that people are loving it and responding to it and to your performance in particular.